In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can update your Ubuntu server from 22.04 to 24.04 LTS. Okay, so currently I have this GUI installed on the server and it's asking me to update using the GUI. I can simply just click yes, upgrade now or i can use the command line so i have two options but in case if you don't have gui on your server but you still want to update so for that i'm going to the command line and then i'll show you here so first of all you need to check the version for that the command is host name ctl you can see the operating system is ubuntu 22.0403 lts so the kernel version is 5.15 0 100 generic so i'm going to do the update using the command so the command is do release upgrade and hit enter so now it's checking for a new ubuntu release okay so it's saying me please install all available updates for your release before upgrading okay so i'm gonna do apt update first and then i'll do apt upgrade or dist uh, upgrade okay so there is some problem with the docker okay i'm just gonna ignore that let's do apt dist upgrade and then it's gonna show me what's going on okay so something uh, is locking the upgrade okay i'm gonna do apt update again this process is a bit lengthy and can take time consume can be time consuming as well okay so this time we are seeing the same error so i'm gonna try uh, this list upgradable and uh, okay so let's do upgrade upgrade this time app upgrade and uh let's see what it does going pretty smooth and fast download speed is good as well okay while upgrading i saw this screen so now it's telling me that newer kernel version is available and uh, the currently running kernel is 5.15.0 uh-100 and uh, uh, which is not the expected kernel version restarting the system so load the new kernel will not be handled automatically so you should consider rebooting okay so it's saying i'm uh i need to reboot so it can be updated to this kernel version and then for the next next distribution i think uh, it will be upgraded even more so i'm just going to reboot this machine okay the machine is rebooted let's check the kernel version again host name serial and uh, yeah now you can see uh, the version is 0 0-199 so previously uh, when we checked it, it was 100 okay so now i'm gonna try upgrading again and let's see oh, what it says this time all right so we fixed all the errors and now we are able to continue to upgrade to version 24.04 so this process is gonna take uh depending on your resources of server and the internet speed but i have seen uh somewhere in between 25 to 25 minutes to like two hours depending on the internet speed and the resources of your hardware so i'm just going to pause the video recording uh, first let me hit enter and uh, if i see anything else i'll show you in the video or otherwise once it's completed i'll show you uh it's successfully completed or anything okay so it's asking do you want to start the upgrade 158 packages are going to be removed and 533 new packages are going to be installed so total of 1585 packages are going to be upgraded you have to download a total of 
almost 2 GB. This download will take about 4 minutes with your connection. Installing the upgrade can take several hours once the download has finished. So the process cannot be canceled. You want to continue or want to see the details. So if you want to say, I don't want to continue, you can still type N and you will be back to the older distribution but I am going to upgrade this and if I want to see the details what packages are going to be removed uh, I'll I'll press D uh, key to see the details but I'm just upgrading as it is without any details but if you want to see what uh, what packages are going to be removed what packages are going to be installed and what packages are going to be upgraded you can see in the details so this time it's going to take more time so i'm gonna pause the video record all right it's just three minute past and uh, it showed me this screen keyboard english layout us english yes and then it started extracting from new packages again okay and then after a couple minutes i'm seeing this screen packet configuration so it says configuration uh, configuring thunderbird i don't know what that is so upgrade to the thunderbird snap okay it's a snap to update to the version 24.0 for all new releases of thunderbird are only available to ubuntu users so actually every version has a name so i think this version uh, is called thunderbird okay this package update will transit to your system over uh to the snap by installing it okay so i'm just gonna hit okay on this one and then checking connectivity with the snap store installing thunderbird snap okay okay there is another configuration page after a couple of minutes so it's configuring base password so it's a update dash password has found difference between your system accounts and the current debian defaults it is advisable to allow update password to change your system without those changes some packages might not work correctly for more documentation on the debian account policies please uh, read this in that folder the per the proposed change is remove group nobody i don't even know what that group is so do you want to remove yes do remove this one and then uh, the proposed change is change the GID of user nobody. Okay, remove. Okay, another thing after 15 minutes, it's the package configuration. It's for open SSH server. A new version of configuration file is available, but the version installed currently has been locally modified. Do you want to do about modified configuration for file this keep the local version currently installed install the package maintainers version uh, I would say keep the local version so let's check one more time I don't think it's updated because it is not rebooted yet hostname CTL Wow without rebooting it's on version 24 4.04 and uh, the kernel version is same and the firmware age is nine years one month that is amazing so i was successfully able to update it to the version 24.04 and whatever problems i have faced uh, i showed you in this video and uh, there is one more uh, that it says whirlip app list lock is held by process so i'm gonna fix this thing and if you want to know how i fixed this problem just comment me below and i will post the video thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next one bye bye